I'm Anisha and I'm a sales engineer here at Looker. In this tutorial, we're going to talk about exploring data. In this video, we're going to talk about limiting your data. You can limit the number of rows or pivoted columns in Looker by setting a row limit, a column limit, or both. Row and column limits let you quickly see only the results you wish to see. For example, if you would like to see the top 10 categories by order count, a row limit lets you do that. Here I have an explorer with my order count broken out by products category and pivoted by month created. These arrows tell me that my data is sorted in descending order both by month created and order count. You will see why this is important later when we set our limits. You can set a row limit by entering a value in the row limit box in the upper right of the data panel. When I hit run, Looker first applies the sort I've selected and then limits the data. As you see, I only get 10 rows, and because I sorted by the order count, I get the top 10. Likewise, you can also set a column limit in that same area. When I hit Run, Looker first applies the sort I've selected, and then limits the data for both the number of rows and the number of columns. Now we can quickly see the top 10 categories in the past five months. Looker will also warn me if you have set a row or column limit that causes some of the data to not be shown. This warning is useful if the limit is hiding some of the data and you accidentally have the limit set too low. But in this case, I'll just close the warning because the limits are doing exactly what I wanted, limiting my results to just the data I care about. Thanks for watching. In this tutorial, you learned how to limit the number of rows or pivoted columns in Looker. To learn more about limiting your data, check out this page in Looker's documentation. To learn more about filtering, click the links at the end of the video.